Hello, Memorial, are you ready for... No, you're Elder! Hi, welcome to another edition of Know Your Elder. I'm your host, Jared Johnson. We've had a lot of fun going around town meeting our elders and they've been gracious enough to invite us into their homes, sit down and speak with them and play some fun games with them. We're excited to do that again today. And before we get to that, let's play a fun game with you guys. How about I give you some clues and you can see if you can guess which elder we're gonna be speaking to today. I hope you're ready, cause here we go. First clue, he's a CFO. Second clue, though no longer in diapers, he is the baby elder. <laughs> Third clue, he lives across the street from a Ferris wheel. Okay. Fourth clue, his wife is a friendship school teacher. Fifth clue, he grew up in New Orleans. And as we always do, I'll give you one more clue. I'll show you what he looks like in a mask, but only from the nose down. Let's go meet the elder we're speaking to today. Come on. Okay, here we go. Let's see which elder we're talking to today. Hey guys, thank you for having us over and letting us speak with you guys today and getting to know you guys a little better. So I was hoping you would just be able to introduce yourselves. All right, would you like to go first? Okay, I'm Cindy Dyster. <laughs> and I'm Aaron Dyster. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> well, I'm not telling my age or something. So. <laughs> like, we did, we did not like at school. I'm five years old. <laughs> you don't have to. Do. You don't have to tell us your age, but how about this? What ministry got, are you guys involved with at Memorial? Well, uh, so I have been involved in the evangelism ministry for uh, for quite some time, and. Um, that's one of the areas that I work in, uh, overseeing as an elder, and uh, so evangelism outreach, and also with the uh, the youth. Um, so working with our uh, our youth program and oh, nice. different programs there. So I'm also involved in the um, finance committee. Okay. And I work with the finance committee for um, you know just overseeing uh, the budgeting process and yeah. everything that goes on there. So um, and then Cindy is a friendship school teacher and loves anything to do with kids mm -hmm. and uh, teaches children's Bible classes in Journeyland and uh, when, when we have those in person again, uh, oh, she'll be yeah. back in there, so. That's right. Yeah. That's great, and um, speaking of classes, in a typical situation, what Sunday morning class did, would y'all go to? Did, or did y'all go to? Yeah, so the Young Marrieds is, uh, okay. is where I was, was going before we okay. had to stop the classes uh, this time. But, and Cindy, for the most part, was teaching pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. so, oh, nice. Uh, and when I wasn't in the, in the uh, uh, Young Marrieds class, I would be helping her in the, in the journey land. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Classes Journey. with the elementary kids. Mm -hmm. Journey land teaching. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's loads of fun. <laughs> it's so fun. It is. Kids are great. I miss it a lot. Oh, nice. Um, so when did you guys first start coming to Memorial? So we moved to Houston in uh, 1994 okay. after graduating from college and came here for work. And um, I think Memorial was the first church we visited um, when we came. You probably don't remember. That's a long time ago. I remember that. It's been a while. Um, in 1994. So we uh, uh, came to Memorial and uh, met some young marrieds uh, mm -hmm. while we were there. Uh, actually, we came on a Wednesday night, oh, wow. and we thought it was the young marrieds class, and it ended up being a singles young professionals class, <laughs> and we sat by Ron Four, mm -hmm. and so that was the first. Uh, he was the first person we actually met at Memorial, which is pretty oh, funny. Wow. So, um, but we ended up uh, uh, becoming uh, part of Memorial, and um, mm -hmm. and so been there so uh, 26 years now. Mm -hmm. Wow. 1994 till now. Now, have y'all been to the Young Marrieds that whole time? Or? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I never leave the Young Marrieds. <laughs> yeah. We're still working on that. Yeah. I was born in 1993, so I just... Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> now, I, now I feel elderly. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of that, how long have you been an elder now? 
Uh, so about two and a half years. Okay. So uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's gone by really fast. I had to think about that one before. <laughs> you came how long I've been an elder, but uh, two and a half years. And how's it been? How have you enjoyed it there? Uh, it's been it's been wonderful. Yeah. Um, I love our uh, eldership and yeah. uh, just you know it's full of very loving, caring, godly men yeah. and uh, just uh, it's you know. It, it's it's a wonderful group to work with. Um, it's uh, you know there's there's uh, there's things that uh, that you don't expect when you when you're an elder that you have to deal with. And uh, but there's also so many joys in seeing um, people grow in their faith and um, you know being able to help people spiritually yeah. and physically or any way we can um to guide them closer to god that's that's our ultimate goal and uh, um so yeah so it's been uh, it's been wonderful and it's a great uh, supportive uh, group of shepherds and uh who love memorial and love god love jesus and his um you know want to serve him so what a blessing yeah what a blessing well, it's been wonderful talking to you guys and um, getting to know you. And as you know, we're going to be playing the Newlywed Game. Are y'all familiar with the Newlywed Game? We are. It's been a while since we played it. I think well, you answered yeah. questions about You're the game. We're still in the unmarried, so I guess that's, that's right. I guess it's still applicable. We're still, still in the unmarried. Okay, yeah, so we played with the other elders, so we're going to see how you guys are there. Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so you can't look at my answer then? Right? I'm not. I'm not. Okay. I don't have any paper, though. You'll share the paper. Oh, okay. Or you can give her a stack right now since she has yeah, her own little board. Okay. <laughs> okay. This first question is going to be for Cindy to answer for Aaron. So, <laughs> if Aaron could have lunch with any living person in the world today, who would it be? Like, instead so, of me? Cindy, yes. It's, it's, well, I don't know. Is it you me or someone else? Yeah. Like you're saying not me? It, Leave that up to the interpretation. Yeah. Okay, but okay. it's what you think he's going to say. Okay. So you want it living in the world right now? Yes. You right. write it down. You don't have to write it down. You can just say it. Oh, okay. Any person alive today? She's pretty quick with that answer. <laughs> Quicker than I am thinking. <laughs> okay, I think she's locking it in. Aaron, do you know who you would have lunch with any living person in the world today? Um, it would be Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> What did you then say? I put mine and our family. That's true. <laughs> that That's true. is so bad. Because I would say Aaron and then our, but I would want to see there. Yeah. yeah, that'd be even better. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and if I can't do that, then I want to have it in my classroom with my class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is for you, Aaron, to answer um, for Cindy. What is her favorite hobby? <laughs> This is by chance eating lunch with the family. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, do you have a lot of hobbies? This is a tough one. Can I, I pick you. two? Don't no, you're not picking two. Because you have more than one. The judges say you, you can't pick two. You can only pick my favorite one. The judges say you can only pick the favorite one is what I'm getting. That's okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't peek, I promise. <laughs> I'm not a cheater. I'd rather just lose, okay. honestly. <laughs> okay. Ready? So he's got his answer locked in. Yeah, okay. say it first. Oh. I think, what was it, a hobby I have? Your favorite hobby. Okay, well, it's playing my guitar. Oh! Why would you not put that? I don't know. I just I don't know either. That uh, wow! I said working in your planner. <laughs> 
That's you do cool. like that. I do like that. It's not, my favorite. not her favorite. Playing her guitar is her favorite. You know that. I do know now that. Now that I said that, you're like, what? And you had a third one that I thought about. I won't say that one. So. You can say it if you want. Um, now I just had a senior moment. It's fine. Uh, you don't have to say it. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. So how long? Oh, reading. Oh, reading. reading. Oh. Okay. Avid reader. How long have you played the guitar? Mm -hmm. Um, so like four or five years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, do, what do you like to play? Uh, anything I can play. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't mind trying new yeah, things, yeah. but um, you know, a lot of the songs I play, it's not like I really listened to them before that. I hear you. It's like I, I want to play them. I want to just play. Yeah. I'll play for you guys if you want me to. Do you, do you take lessons? I took, I took classical guitar. And it, I took it for like a year, and then we went to like position two. And when we went to position two, I was like, I'm not a classical guitarist. <laughs> I had a really awesome classical guitar, and so I wanted to be oh, wow. just because it was so really yeah. cool. But then I just kind of went, okay, right. I'm just going to go with guitar, right. and it'll be fine. And that's, I mean, he knows. Mm -hmm. I make him sit here and and say, are you sure it's not that bad? Are you sure it's not that bad? That's good. And then he falls asleep. <laughs> he falls asleep. <laughs> he falls asleep. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next question. We're going to switch back again. What is Aaron's least favorite food? Hmm. Okay. Oh, he's not in his head. I think he's got it already. Got it. <laughs> it's just she may one. not know this because we don't talk about it very much because it is my least favorite food. <laughs> Right. It's kind of a bummer too. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, Aaron, what is your least favorite food? least favorite food? Sauerkraut. Oh, oh. Wow. like you were specific, man. <laughs> Second, second choice. <laughs> second choice. Yeah. There's this great place. It's like an Indian fusion. It's like uh -huh. Indian African, and it's uh, called Pondicherry. Mm -hmm. Have you been? Oh my goodness. So oh good. Good. Wow. Okay, if you like it, please. Can I go with you? <laughs> what's your I favorite dish, that. or what's your least favorite dish from Pondicherry? Your favorite. Your least favorite. You said Pondicherry. Oh, I love curry. Curry. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. curry. So I don't love curry at all. So <laughs> yeah. That's why it's so hard. What about sauerkraut? Don't you like? Ew. Everything. <laughs> My mom fixed it when we when we when I was a kid and it was disgusting. You know what? <laughs> I've, yeah. I've never had it. The other elder who answered their least favorite uh, food is because they're they used to make it all the time when they were kids. I guess that's huh. Wow. That's just how it, how it yeah, works. Yeah, that is interesting. interesting. <laughs> it's really interesting. Okay. All right, so we're one for three. One for three. <laughs> So five, just so you know. Hey, it's always do. good to learn new things about uh, you, right? Oh, my word. <laughs> 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 well, that still might be good. This is today. a game, Aaron. Okay. okay, so would your wife rather be a famous actor, musician, athlete, or famous in something else? Another field. Again, that's actor, musician, athlete, or something else. Wow, another quick answer locked in. Locked in. Are you still, are you still pondering or dreaming about your life of faith? You ready? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He's going to say musician. Sorry, because we just talked about musician. <laughs> I, I don't care if I'm famous. I just want to be tolerable. <laughs> And then also I would be a neurologist. A neurologist? I yes. Oh. Can you imagine if I was so smart I could be a neurologist? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. I would know so much about that. Okay, um, one last question for you guys, or second to last question. But we're going to ask one of the elders submitted questions. And they want to know, this is going to be um, for Cindy to write down. Okay. But it's a question that you're both, we're asking both of you, what month did you guys meet in? Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy one? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, well then let's just say it in unison. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, oh, in together. Unison? Okay. One, two, three. November. 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 Oh. Oh, I'll tell me. Um, I'll let you tell that story. So, 
Uh, I was, we were both at Abilene Christian. Okay. And I was a freshman. Nice. Aaron was a sophomore, and they had like open house. Open at house on the, the doors. Sophomore guys' dorm. Oh, yeah. And my roommate was like, we're going. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to go. I'm not going. And so I just really didn't. Yeah. I just like had my hair and pigtails and like <laughs> looked kind of like I just didn't care. Yeah. And so we were walking around and you were in there with your roommate and he knew me from something and said something. Yeah. And we just went in and their room was like super tidy and like all of your club stuff was everywhere. Well, all the girls were coming in over to our dorm, <laughs> so we had everything very clean <laughs> and tidy. And then when we yeah. started talking, we yeah. had realized we like kind of had some things in common. Nice. And then um, Aaron was just, you know, very, very polite. And then we saw each other the next night and I was like all dressed up because I was going to go hang out with friends. Yeah. And he was going to check his mail. Yeah. Which I probably at the same time that you check your mail. Mm -hmm. Like, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so he saw me. I said, Aaron Dyster, what are you doing? And he was like had no idea who I was. <laughs> you look totally different. <laughs> so it was really funny. And I didn't really get that. I was just like, hey, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm Cindy Castleman, you yeah. know. Yeah. And, then and the rest was, is history. Yeah, there you that's go. right. There you go. Oh, yeah. sweet. So you were, your freshman year, y'all met. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And y'all got married after college or in college? In college. Yeah, senior year. We were married, so. Yeah. Dated for about a year and a half and then uh, got married. That's Had one more year of school together and then we both graduated at the same time. So That's right. And did y'all come to Houston? Mm -hmm. Right away. Right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do y'all consider yourselves Houstonians now? or Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Where are you this is from? I grew up in Oklahoma mostly. Okay. And yeah, that's, I mean, I was born in Texas, but yeah. we didn't even live in Texas at the time. So... We were living in Oklahoma. So, yeah, been to a lot of different places, but mainly yeah. from there. And But, I mean, we, I've been here longer than anywhere else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so. the thing. When you're somewhere longer than anywhere else. Right. It's just that's that's how own. I am. I'm, I'm getting close to that. Yeah. I've lived all over. And yeah. I'm like, it's almost been the longest in Houston. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Houston's happened to have all of y'all, including. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I stole the have you been here and you've like been forever? Here the, yeah, I was, I was uh, born here. Yeah. Our kids, you know, our One kids are native <laughs> yeah. yeah, if they ever live here again, so they'll be native Houstonians. But yeah. I mean, we got here as quickly as we could. There you go. There and you then go. when the food we ate, the food we said, oh, we're staying. There you go. That we're is saying. reason to stay right. That's there. right. It is. Houston is not known for a sauerkraut. So <laughs> everything works out. Oh, yeah, everything works out. Some Although I'm sure there's some, secret going some on. gourmet sauerkraut shows. I'm sure. I'm sure somewhere. We won't I, won't know. Be, I won't be going there. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all answered that question. The elders submitted very easily. So we want to know from you guys, what's a question we can ask maybe the next um, elder that we speak to? Maybe a curveball that we can throw. Okay. Um... Hmm. I can ask one for an elder. Go ahead. What's your favorite elders meeting snack? Oh. That's what I want to know. Oh, okay. Which we have been missing because they've all been Zoom meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Get your own snack. <laughs> the, first, the first Zoom elders meeting, I brought you a snack. I was like, do you need a snack? <laughs> mm. It was supposed to be my turn yeah. anyway, yeah. but no. So I just brought, brought it to Aaron. <laughs> uh, that's another good question. That's a good elder question. Um, mm. Okay, newlywed game question? Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. Um, what's your what's your song? Oh. What's song. your song? Like every couple has like a song. Every Ask them what their song. song is. What's your what's your song? Oh, it's it's really a song that really no one else likes. It's called You and I. And it's it was sung by this guy, Eddie Rabbit, and this huh. lady, Crystal Gale. <laughs> and like, it's so cheesy, but, but good, for whatever though, reason. But it was in our wedding, too. It so, was. Yeah. It was like, at the time, okay. it just kind of like summed up, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's good. 
So right. that's a good question. Do we have a song? Do you know yeah, have song. a song? We, you, we've said this for years, and it just has never worked out. <laughs> Our song is the theme of Big Brother. When Big Brother. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the Big Brother theme song. <laughs> Ours is Amazing Race. Wait, it's Amazing Race. Survivor, let's do Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, we appreciate it again, guys, you taking time to speak with us and us getting to know you and playing that quick game with you guys. So we'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.